attempt to then uh, measure or observe predictions coming out of those mathematically beautiful theories mm -hmm. have failed. Mm -hmm. An example, the world of physics was uh, for decades fascinated by the idea of supersymmetry particles. Mm -hmm. There was this thing called string theory, which is mathematically beautiful. And mm -hmm. all the great physicists said, oh, this is so beautiful. This, is, this must be the key to the construction of the universe. So they built the Large Hadron Collider near Geneva. It's a 16 kilometer uh, tunnel. Mm -hmm. And to accelerate the particles and crash them into each other. Hundred nations collaborated to pay the bill. Hundred <laughs> nations collaborated to build this thing. Mm -hmm. And one of the prime reasons for building it was to uh, observe supersymmetry particles, mm -hmm. which would then exonerate uh, string theory. Mm -hmm. And then we would conclude that the universe consists of these strings. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, what happened was that absolutely not a single supersymmetry particle was discovered. So most physicists have by now, most string theorists have by now accepted the fact we were barking up the wrong tree. There are no strings. This was a beautiful mathematical idea, but it doesn't work. It's not there. Mm -hmm. But I, I bring this up now because it, to my mind, what is happening is this, the, what we now can call classical quantum mechanics, the thing that was formulated by Schrödinger and Heisenberg and Dirac in 1925. Dirac came a few months later, he came in 1926. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is the great classical mechanics. Mm -hmm. This is the ultimate physics, the most accurate physics that has ever been discovered. This is a physics that you use uh, to, for the frontline technology. But this was not enough for the physicists. Um, around the 50s, perhaps, they began to look deeper. And what they were doing ontologically is they were they wanted to go beyond, down, beyond that level uh, that corresponds to materia quantitata signata. Mm -hmm. They wanted to proceed down, and St. Thomas Aquinas could have told them hundreds of years ago that what you find beneath that level is nothing, absolutely nothing. And that's what, and that's what the story up. of the last 50 years of particle physics is all about. They are going down. They have transcended the point of no return. Uh, they are going, they're staring into nothing. <laughs>